let's go to that constable lady and get our Ooh, there's an armory here we will we will look at all of this everywhere there's sublight we will we will check out everything soon are you listening we will look around soon but for right now we've got to deal with this person's Vicar Max's problem. I've seen you limping a bit. You uh, all right, Mr. Vicar? Need us to slow down? What are you implying? I am perfectly fit. My uh, knee is just acting up. There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vicar. Don't worry. The captain and I will take care of you. I need neither your advice nor your pity, young lady. Damn. Damn. Hey, we're back. Uh, How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it, and I decided, if you ain't killed McRed yet, I want you to hurt him a little before you do. Well, I mean... Nothing excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. Well, I mean, I cut him a lot. So, I mean, I didn't, I didn't necessarily say I killed him humanely. And I roughed him up a bit before I did. I believe I'm growing fond of you, Bounty Hunter. Yay. If you got the Mardettes backs, the Mardettes have got yours. Here's the Bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed Bounty Hunters like you in the future. Uh, alright. So, now I guess we can talk to him. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? Can I get... My, uh, back stage thing. Yeah, I'm getting that, but this area's off limits. I told you. You have done a lot for us, Captain. I'll talk to the Commandant about scheduling a thank you tour for you. Maybe check back in a few days. What? Dude. Come in, Lee. Come in. All right, I, I guess. In and out, though. Just try not to do any shady stuff. I'd like to keep my job. <laughs> I will definitely not do anything shady. C Lee! Lee! Buddy! It's me! Oh, <laughs> shady stuff! Me! C come on! Like, <laughs> shady stuff. You're... You're just you're just a silly guy. You're just a silly little guy. We're we're not gonna do anything shady. Like look around and see that impact hammer or that bolt or rifle or that there's a box here I can pick. We're not going to do that. There you go. Keep going now. Can I? Is there is this a door? Excuse me. Great work. Yeah, I know. Just keep an eye out for me. <laughs> While we definitely do nothing shady. Alright, so that's it for over here. Uh, we're, we're not doing anything shady. We're... Definitely not doing anything shady. What do we got over here? We got like an axe, mag picks, a plasma rifle, boxes full of stuff. I need you to leave again, sir. So I can finish definitely not doing anything. We're safety inspecting everything here. You know, can't really... It's, oh, he did. He walked out. Wait, where'd he go? Did he just disappear? Is he a wizard? Just take that. Take that. Take these. We're just taking... Wait, what? Oh, this is the disguiser thingy. We're just taking everything, you know. 
for, uh, you know, reasons. Did you come back in? Yeah, okay. Well, we're, we're still not doing anything shady, Lee. We're model citizens. Where am I going? Wait, wait, what, where? There's supposed to be a... Aha! Just yank the drive, and I'll do the rest. Oh, do you mean you can't walk over here and do it yourself? Fair enough. Uh, ejected the thingy, my bobber. Confiscated goods. Yeah, I uh, picked up all that stuff already. And, uh, brawl at the freelancers, a guy from the back bays. Ah, oh, we've, uh, we've taken care of all that. Data cartridge. I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. So I guess I give you this. Got it. His name is Doohickey. Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Oh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit cart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Uh, you hesitated there. What's... what aren't you telling me? Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Uh-huh. Right. So we have to go to Fallbrook on Monarch next. Sounds like fun. Thanks, Lee. We did not do anything totally, you know, definitely didn't. You don't seem to like traveling with us much. Why in the architect's name would you say that? It's just that you're real grouchy. Kind of all the time. I'm not grouchy. I'm just, just irritated by inane questions. Yeah, see, when you say it like that, it makes me wonder. Nah, he's grouchy. Now, is that hoop a weapon? No, okay. No, the hatchet's a... Uh, bleh. Oh, yeah, let's see if we... Have we gotten enough to actually... Points up to do any... Any... I guess it would be these ones... Okay, so, all right, so we can also use workbenches to tinker, but we can also, like, how this is a level five, we should be able to, yeah, we can increase the damage of weapons and stuff for money, which, whoa, we're at 12,000, fair enough, um... That one's at burn 133. All right, well, hmm. this is a level seven. This is a level five. And see if we can increase it again for 113. 61 damage, 62 damage. So that's on the same page as this one now, because it's they it basically increases it by a level. Is there anything else we would want to use? I don't see anything better, so we can just... That's five, six, seven. Yeah, that increases it enough. That's good. Uh, so that, that means we can also... Oof, we have to break down some of this stuff. Well, it's long guns. Boo. When I 
before the end of next or the beginning of next episode I'll go through and do some equipment upgrades and I'll show you guys all the upgrades and all that, that I do um, for now why don't we go ahead and take a look at some of these shops and see what we got let's let's, let's do a little talking and explore actually actually I know she's maybe. in there and blue. Let's see what let's see what's going on in here real quick. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. Yeah, you're definitely not making a scene. Hey, what's up? I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? Nah. See him for We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. What's this, this oh, what's this I thought this said what's this about, friend? Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Ooh. Uh, maybe... <laughs> you don't even like her, but you're checking on her? You say that like it's weird. It's a little weird. I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid, that's all. That maybe I can maybe I can look in on her or something. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Uh, I'm just gonna guess if I probably don't, but here we go. Uh, hello. June Lei called up from engineering, said I should let you buy medical supplies from our stores. Oh, that's Now, nice. is there something I can help you with? Yes, could I take a look at your stuff real quick? A better selection than you'll find on the promenade deck, and a quality commensurate with a friend of the station. That's nice, thank you. How much are they? 46 each? Oh. Medical five, persuade five, that's nice. What is this? Oh, that's just Adrena time. And engineering plus five. Um, is there anything that I do have that I want to sell real quick since we're in the selling mood? That's 40. Oh, 40 for that. Uh, okay. Yeah, we will definitely. Whoa. Five hundred and fifty for that gun. You know what? Uh, eh, I'm selling you that gun. Um, I'm going to keep the, whatever that is, I'm going I'm to keep that. All this other stuff doesn't really sell for much, that sells for 45. That one sells for 70, so we'll sell that one. Just get, just get some, basically make back the money that I spent doing that thing. Oh, we do want to sell all of our junk so we have 12,613 uh, did I sell it whoa I got 3,000 off of that holy smokes okay Oh, and there's stuff we don't need from here. We can sell these. Cause we didn't, well, no, that's a melee. We don't need the... We don't need the... Uh, these mods. Because we're not using guns. Which is very weird. Alright. So we can... Yeah, we can mod weapons to give them... Durabi Ooh, durability is nice. And change their damage types. We've got we've got a lot of things going for us right now. Uh, but first off, let's see. Um, oh yeah, let's see if there's any armor that I have that's worth selling. Not really. Fair enough. All right. Well. Oh geez, where the frame rate? Oh, it just it went poo poo. Something I can help you with. 
Yeah, I want to see Jesse. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. Okay. The records say Miss Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. That's what you think, buddy. Uh, the records say... Have you actually spoken to her, buddy? She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. Um, alright, see you around. Take care. Oh, this probably means I'm going to have to do some super duper sleuthy stuff. Hello. You're, you're Dr. Hawanda. Why are you smoking in a hospital? <laughs> this I'm guessing this is a hospital. You know, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? You got it. If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Uh, yeah, we all told me to get you off, you know. Yeah. Did he now? The mouth on that man. I swear his late mother'd be ashamed. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. Uh, I mean, who who's this guy and will you pay me? Our delivery man. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, and usually by bandits. Well, that sucks. Uh, what, do you, what do you need the, the mechanicals for? Which they are as part of the resistance of mechanical beings. They are evil. You know, destroy all humans. You know, it's totally real. Surgery, mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. Oh. I mean... The board won't let their doctors and nurses station here, and they own all the medical schools. If we can't hire their people, we can't hire anyone. Everyone on staff here on Groundbreaker was trained by me or Idris. We're good, don't get me wrong. But we've only two heads between us, and we don't know everything. Oh, that, that's reassuring. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Uh, that's normal for me. Also, we... I want to use that. Give me that as a melee weapon. Heck yeah. Uh... Right, we... Oh. Is this just a Mardet place? Alright, we... Something tells me... This is gonna be a toughie. Let's see what happens. Uh, your holographic shroud has activated, giving you temporary access to this restricted area. Moving drains the shroud's energy. When it runs out, personnel will see and interrogate you. Right. So. Hello. I am going this way. You're sure this is perfectly safe? I'd rather not die early of an infectious disease myself. Look at you. You guys look so adorable. Um, this room looks interesting. Can they, nobody see? Good. Um, right. I want to go to this. Hello. Uh, Ellie sent me. What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. 
highly lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna intimidate you a bit. Should've known she'd send a bruiser after me. Damned if I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I befriended a bloodhound in the process. All right, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. Gotta walk slowly. Hello. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. Uh, I do work for the board, actually. Um, well, what, what'd you do? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Uh, yeah, 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 do you think the board's somehow following you, or? I mean. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one. Assuming you want to keep breathing. Alright, I'll fess this part up too. If it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. So, you stole it. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond. And it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Ah, boy, so you want us to talk to Udom, basically. Udom Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. Fine. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Yeah, I'm just a friendly or dude. I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? I'm a nice, well-rounded individual. All right, we got to get out of here before this wears off. It's going to be pretty close. Whew, we made it. What's on the other side of there? I don't know. So now do we talk to Ellie? Are you like, hey, we got to talk to Bedford. Any word on Jesse? Uh, I'll handle it. Good luck. The board's got an office on the promenade just before engineering. We can't miss it. Yeah, that's going to be my next thing I do. But first, I think I'm going to head around and check out a shop or two. Hey, what do you got, uh, creepy head man? Is it just me or is Groundbreaker feeling extra chilly? Maybe you ought to help yourself to a piping hot frozen dinner. Oh, and it's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. Did you just say piping hot frozen dinner? Track of. Sometimes I forget. Uh, you ever been to Edgewater? Heard of it. My orientation aether wave showed that famous Saltuna cannery, which I'm sure smells as good as it looks. It doesn't. That's true. Yeah, I hope they're gonna be okay. That was a delayed uh, reaction. Choice beer. Take what you have, polish it up, and make the best of it. So, what can I get you? Some soap. Everyone loves soap. Everyone will love you for using it too. Is it Spacer's Choice soap? Uh, have a look. Right. What do we got? Twenty-eight percent discount. Holy. Sh okay, then. We've got big discount, which. Selling me for a lot more less than the other person did. What? What? What is this? 
Well, there's a lot of stuff. Ooh, two bypass shunts. Yes, I'm going to buy those. Uh, that's it for now. When we come back, I'm going to do a little bit of messing around on the... Uh... Ooh, there's a door. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of messing around at that little work workbench. I'll do some do some stuff there, and then we will. I'll show you what I did. I'm gonna steal this stuff real quick because that's what I do. More stuff to sell, all the good stuff. So till then, you. Whoa, there's guns here. We can sell those or something if I want. I don't know. Till then, y'all take care, and of course, have a good one.